Good evening, everybody. We are back up in North Georgia, and uh, it's been a kind of slow week so far. Last week, we did a nice trip down south where we didn't really accomplish much in the way of herping, but I had a good time, and that'll be a video that'll go up on the Patreon. Uh, it wasn't very herp-heavy, but it was a lot of fun. And then, of course, we had the great trip to the mountains where we saw a ton of snakes, but it has been a super rainy week here so far, and today we finally have a day where it's not just pouring rain, at least up north. I had to drive a couple hours to get to some dry areas. I am pretty confident we'll at least be able to see a couple of things today. I'm going to start off by flipping a little bit of tin, and then we're going to road cruise for the rest of the evening and into the night and see what we can find. All right, well, the flipping segment of today's video did not go well whatsoever. Didn't see a single snake, which isn't really a surprise this time of year, but I was still kind of hopeful we'd see at least something. But anyways, I'm gonna start driving around and hope there will be a little bit more activity on the road. I don't think that'll be too much to ask. Normally this time of year is pretty good for road cruising as long as it's dry. So we'll see what we can turn up. Well, it's just now getting completely dark, and here is our first snake of the night, a little Midland water snake. This is a newborn little water snake. Probably only been alive for a couple of days, maybe a week or two. So you can see just how tiny he is, but pretty cool. Decent first snake of the night. I'm just gonna get this guy out of the road and we're gonna keep moving, hoping that there's going to be some decent activity tonight. It is nice and cool out here. It's already 75 degrees, which I mean, the last couple of weeks have been pretty hot up until this point. So the combination of the cool weather and the fact that it's finally not soaking wet has me pretty optimistic. So I'm going to get a quick shot of this guy, move him out of the road, and we're going to keep moving. Well, it's been like an hour since we saw the uh, water snake, and here's a little juvenile gray rat. It's kind of odd looking, actually. He's got some really interesting kind of chocolatey colors on his bands there. But... Pretty nice looking little snake. It's been pretty slow so far. This is only the second snake. With how ideal seeming the conditions are, I'm kind of surprised it's been this slow, but maybe stuff will just be moving a little bit later. I'm gonna keep at it for another 30 minutes or so and just see if stuff continues to move. All right, everyone. Well, it's looking like it's going to be a two snake night and day, unfortunately, but to put things into perspective, this is the best day I have had this week, which uh, it pains me to say that, but sometimes that's just how it goes, as I'm sure many of the, uh, the long-time viewers know. And if you're new here, that's how it goes. We have plenty of outings where we don't see much, and if I don't see anything at all, of course I don't even make a video. That's the reality of field herping, so if you're new at this and you're trying it out, don't get frustrated. It happens to everyone. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap up tonight here unless I see something crazy on the way home. And uh, I'll be getting out again tomorrow, so I will see you guys then. So I'm most of the way home and I straddle a little black snake in the road. And sure enough, here is yet another little rat snake. It's about 11 o'clock now and uh, it's kind of frustrating that I drove about an hour each way to road cruise tonight just to find the same snake. Uh, five minutes from my house on the way home, but it's better than finding only two snakes tonight, I suppose. This guy's quite attractive looking. He's nice and clean. You can see he's got some good size on him already for being a year old. We still haven't seen any of this year's fresh hatchling rat snakes yet. All the ones we've been finding lately have been these little yearlings, but really nice looking snake nonetheless. I'm just going to move him out of the road and finish the drive home. Good evening, everybody. It has been a couple of days since our slow road cruise the other night, uh, and we've had a lot more rain, unsurprisingly. It's just been endless rain the last week or so, which is good in the long run, but at this exact moment, it's kind of obnoxious because it makes it hard to actually get out and find stuff. But anyways, no rain today. It feels pretty good, and I'm getting ready to head out and do some cruising, so we'll see what we can turn up. All right, there is snake number one doing a little periscope. It is a little neonate garter snake. This guy's got some size on him already. I'm assuming this guy is from this year. Probably born at some point over the last month or so. Really cute little guy though, look at that. This little guy is definitely a little bit unusual looking. The garter snake variation here is something that I'm really interested in. So really kind of neat to see this little guy tonight. Didn't want to get mussed on, but I wanted to show you all some scale before we let him go. He is quite small. Still not sure if that's an neonate from this year or a yearling, though. 
And here is our next snake, a nice little smooth earth. Nice little fat slug of a adult crossing the road. I've been seeing a lot of these guys on the road this year, and normally I don't see that many, um, which is kind of interesting, but very common snakes, just not something I normally see too many of on the road. But they have been particularly abundant this season for whatever reason, so really cool. All right, so 9.03, and I just lost another snake off the road. It was barely coming onto the shoulder, so stuff is moving right now. Um, hopefully that'll keep up. I'm just gonna try to keep moving as much as I can and not spend too much time with anything unless we get one of our big targets. And here is another similarly sized little garter snake. I really do think these might be uh, this year's babies and they're just growing pretty well. Uh, garters tend to have their babies pretty early in the season because they are live bearers. So it would make sense for them to be a little bit bigger than the egg laying snakes, fresh babies, but kind of cool. Two of these guys so far. Love that red tongue, really cool. All right, bud. What the hell? <laughs> He doesn't have a tail. That was funny. Oh, we got some Coweta Mundies out here. Look at all these guys. Look at that one. Man, it's been a good mammal night. All right, back to cruising. Well, it's looking like we might end up wrapping up our night here. It's about 10.45 at this point, and uh, I haven't seen anything since I think before 10. So, once again, pretty early movement window tonight. As we move further and further towards fall, darkness is gonna fall earlier and earlier in the night, and uh, as a result, snakes are probably gonna be moving earlier in the night. The overnight lows are still quite warm, maybe warmer than we want for like prime fall road cruising, but I mean, it wasn't terrible. We saw four snakes, one of which got away. Definitely could have been better, but it also could have been worse, so. Anyways, I think I'm actually gonna drive up to Tennessee tonight cruise tomorrow. Look at all this pizza in the road. Somebody just threw a whole pizza out the window. Anyways, like I said, I'm going up to Tennessee tomorrow to road cruise and uh, probably do like a little trip up there. I haven't spent too much time in Tennessee, even though it's really close. So I'm gonna try to do, look at all this pizza. You can't make this up. There's pizza all over the road. I can't believe someone would waste a perfectly good pizza like that. But yeah, Tennessee tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. All right, everyone. Well, I might have lied. I'm almost to Tennessee. We're in the very far northern reaches of Georgia, but I ended up finding habitat here on the Georgia side of the state line that I like a little bit more. Uh, the road looks a little bit more promising. So we're going to cruise this tonight, and then we're going to spend probably tomorrow and the next day just bouncing around Tennessee, North Alabama, North Georgia, uh, exploring new spots and checking out stuff that I've wanted to hit in this area for a while. So we're going to start out with an evening road cruise tonight, and We'll see if that produces anything. And if not, I will see you guys first thing in the morning, but I'm hopeful we'll at least see a few things tonight. I can't see anything right now. <laughs> Jesus, that was bright. Well, it's not completely dark yet, but here is our first snake of the night, a little plain-bellied water snake. At first glance, this might look like a Midland, but I'll flip him over here in a second and show you that he does not have any pattern on his belly. But there are some subtle differences in pattern. You can kind of tell those very distinct bars up front are not something you really see in Midlands. Let's flip this guy over. Ah, you can see his belly does not have that vibrant kind of uh, variable pattern that Midlands have. It's just rather featureless, which is why they're called plain-bellied water snakes. And when they grow into adulthood, that coloration actually turns pretty dramatically colorful at least in a lot of areas, they'll have nice vibrant red bellies, but they start out kind of dull, but good looking snake either way, and not something we see too often, at least the juvenile plain bellied water snakes. We see the adults pretty frequently, but it's kind of cool to get to see a baby like this. Probably this year's young. I'm just gonna flip them over. Oh, hello. <laughs> flip them over one more time so you can kind of see what I mean. Just completely featureless, no pattern at all, so. But we're gonna get him out of the road. Pretty decent first snake of the night. Hopefully there will be more to come. Goodness gracious. That is a majestic beast right there. Look at him. Huge male copperhead. 
That thing doesn't even look real, it's so big. And I have a broken snake hook because I snapped it in half earlier in this episode trying to flip a board, so this might be a little bit hairy. Wow. <laughs> He's rattlesnake sized. He's so big. Yeah, I'm gonna try to... Oh. <laughs> you can see Caitlin in the background. Quite impressive. I'm just gonna let him hopefully continue across the road on his own accord because like I said, I have a broken snake hook, so. That is kind of crazy though. Look at that. Big, big, big healthy copperhead. Love to see it. He's having a hard time getting traction on this road, but sure enough, he's going. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Keep he's on moving. Yeah, he's beautiful. If we didn't have more snakes to find, I would stop and take a picture of him, but we're hoping to see a pygmy in this area tonight. That's the big hope. So we're just gonna let him keep crawling and we're gonna keep moving. Well, that is really odd. That is, I think, maybe my fourth ever road cruise Tantilla in North Georgia here on the very cusp of being in Tennessee. We're so far north. Uh, definitely one of the last things I would have expected to see when I got out of the car, but hey, that is a really cool find and a good looking little snake too. Just so you can see some size, this guy is really tiny. I think we actually found the county record for the species uh, in the same county earlier this year. I'll have to double check on that, but um, that'll be pending publication, hopefully relatively soon, but really cool. Nice next snake of the night, a little southeastern crown snake here in North Georgia. Babies are way smaller. I mean, that, that's probably an adult reproductively, a millipede. But we're gonna get that guy out of the road and keep moving. That's our third snake of the night. And like, I think less, it's still not even completely dark yet. There's still some light on the horizon. So hopefully there'll be more to come. Well, this is really odd. Our next snake of the night is yet another Tantilla, this time a pretty much full-grown adult. You can see they're not too fond of sitting still, so I'm just gonna let this snake keep crawling, but really, really weird. I mean, I've seen so few Tantilla on the roads over the years, and I've definitely never seen two in the same night, at least in Georgia. But out west, it's fairly common to see these guys crossing roads, so I guess it just kind of depends on the, uh, the location, but really, really interesting that we've seen two of these tonight and those have been the only snakes. All right, out of the road with this guy. Might end up being our last snake of the night. It's getting kind of late. It's almost 10 o'clock, which this time of year is kind of when things start to die off. So we'll see. I might do another pass or two before we start heading to our hotel for the night. And then we're going to get up early in the morning and go look for more snakes. All right, well, we're on our way to the hotel and a surprise late night rat snake yet again. We had this happen the other night too. But Tennessee gray rat, actually. We're back in Tennessee now, staying in Tennessee tonight, so we're closer to our destination in the morning. This guy's actually on a pretty busy highway, so we're not gonna spend too much time with them, but nice little gray rat snake, our first snake in Tennessee for this episode. All right, guys, well, we are exploring in Tennessee today. Uh, most of the morning has been pretty uneventful so far. Uh, I had to go get my oil changed real quick, so I've been kind of running errands and getting ready for this afternoon and tomorrow morning, but just cruise this little guy on this little neighborhood road. This is a nice little hatchling southern black racer. I don't know why my hand looks so red. That's weird. Maybe from driving, but first snake of the day in Tennessee. Hopefully there will be more to come, but pretty good indicator that like five minutes onto this road, we found this little guy. So it's getting to be lunchtime pretty soon. I'm um, going to get a quick shot of this guy and let him go. And then we'll probably go get lunch, gas up, and head back out for the afternoon. Really cute, fiery little guy. All right, I will let you go. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're hiking around the edge of a pond here, and there is a nice eastern box turtle tucked in right here. First one of these we've seen in a while, actually. It's not really a great time of year for him, so that's cool to see. Let's see. Looking pretty healthy. Hello. All right, I just wanted to see if you were healthy or not, and it looks like you are, so we'll leave you to your business. Very cool. All right, we're gonna keep walking. The main target this afternoon is a timber rattlesnake, so we'll see if we can make that happen. All right, guys, well, we're walking through this kind of thick forest right here. Found a decent looking rock, and underneath it was a little worm snake. This guy actually looks like he keys out as an eastern worm snake, which is kind of weird because we're in 
surprisingly far west in Tennessee for there to be pure easterns rather than midwestern worm snakes, but hopefully there will be more to come. Nice healthy looking little eastern worm snake as our first find, or as our first snake at the spot. So I'm gonna put him back under his rock and we're gonna keep moving. Well, that used to be a timber. Huge snake skeleton. And that's about all that could be with the vertebrae that wide in this area. I guess it's possible. It's like a, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that could be anything else, but we're getting in some good habitat. So hopefully that's a good sign that we'll be able to turn one up. But lots of people hang out in this area. So I would not be surprised if someone shot that snake, which is illegal in Tennessee. So very, very disappointing, but not really surprising. There is so much evidence of snakes here, but not much in the way of snakes so far. There's just a shed dangling from this tree. Keeled scales, so probably either a garter snake, a young rat snake, rough green, something like that. Well, that guy that just passed us straddled a really nice little rat snake. It's a Christmas miracle. Very cool. Well, we didn't see anything else hiking, needless to say, so I'm glad we were able to find this guy. Let's, let's take it the direction you're heading, dude. He's cool looking. Look at that, like, kind of greenish color. Very nice. But, oh, a little attitude, too. Really nice looking snake. But, hopefully we'll be seeing a couple of things on the road this afternoon. Um, it is kind of threatening to rain at this point, so hopefully that doesn't happen and we'll have a nice dry evening. So, I'm just going to escort this guy off into the woods over there. And we're going to get back on the road. go buddy and we thought the copperhead last night was big look at that I thought I was rolling up on a rattlesnake that is insane well he just kind of went on a, a ditch dive but you could see how big he was that is kind of ridiculous <laughs> I think that one was even bigger than the one last night but snakes are moving so we're gonna keep at it it's just about to get dark, so hopefully stuff will continue moving. All right, everyone. Well, I think we're probably going to wrap up this episode here unless we see something on this road on the way to where we're staying tonight. Um, it wasn't fantastically successful, but we did see a bunch of kind of random common stuff, um, and it was just nice to get out and explore some new areas, and we're going to be doing that again tomorrow. So uh, I, I do think that's going to end up in another episode, though. So if we see anything cool, that will be included in the next video. Uh, but yeah, the plan tomorrow is going to be basically to hike around the same areas we did today, but in the morning where it's not as hot and uh, maybe branch out to some, some areas nearby, but not quite the same spots. So hopefully it'll be a little bit more productive. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.